Okay, this video is to help you get started um, with the potter's wheel as far as getting set up. There's certain tools you're going to need. You're going to need a bucket that's full of cold water, paper towel, a wood knife, a wire tool, a small sponge, probably a storage board and some pug clay. Aprons. There are aprons in the back. Definitely want to take advantage of that when you're starting out to, to not get your actual clothes too dirty. You want to locate the wheel, find the control box, figure out where the power button is. You might need to use the reverse button because if you're right-handed, you want that wheel turning counterclockwise. Uh, once you're set up and it is plugged in, you have power, then you can attach the collection tray if it's not already on there. Notice there's a flange on this tray. That should slide underneath the wheel and just kind of lock into place when you swivel it in there. The smaller tray, that locks into the front. And there's a couple tabs on here and that just kind of latches on there. If you wanted to unlatch it, just push the tabs down. There's a foot pedal. Sometimes artists will put it on the actual platform so you can just control it with your hand. But if you have it down by your foot, then of course you got your hands free. So you can control that pedal, the speed of the wheel, with your foot. Have some pug clay ready. Now what is pug clay? Well, I have clay that I purchase from, from a vendor, probably continental clay, and then I have clay that I recycle in the room. And here you can see the barrels of clay, discarded clay, wet clay that's been reclaimed, um, that will be reclaimed. These are the barrels that, that you're going to put clay in when it's no longer usable. It's either too wet or too dry. So we're going to put it in the barrel and recycle it in this. This is the pug mill. That's what I'll recycle the clay in. It's a machine that basically mixes up old clay, clay that's going to be too wet, because that's what I do with old clay. As I add water to it, I break it down. It kind of turns into a slurry mush, um, really wet clay, and that's what I add into the pug mill. So this wet clay goes in. I'll mix that up a little bit, and I'll also add some dry mix, because this clay alone is a little too sticky to work with. It's not really workable clay. So nearby I'll have some powder. I'll take a few scoops of, of this dry clay mix, this powder, and I'll add it into the pug mill as well. It's kind of like making a milkshake, I guess. Um, how much do you add? It depends on how wet the clay is. It's almost a one-to-one -one ratio sometimes, but really the only way you know if it's mixed properly is by checking. Um, I'd err on the side of keeping the clay a little too wet, so just keep adding the dry mix Keep adding that in there and checking, and once it feels like it's not sticky anymore, then it's, it's ready to pug out. So here you can see me pugging out some clay. Um, each one of these little logs of clay is about a pound and a half. And when you're starting on the wheel, using one of those is recommended. You don't want to start with too much clay, and if you don't have enough, that makes it difficult too. So here I have a pug of clay. Now before I get to that, you can see some pegs on this wheel. I'm going to put a bat onto this potter's wheel here. What a bat is, is just a plastic plate that I can work on. What's nice about that is I can remove it easily when I'm done. So here I have a bat that's locked on. I took my small sponge, I'm going to clean it off because I don't want the bat to be too dirty <clears throat> like this one is here. <clears throat> and I don't want it to be too wet either, so I got to clean it off with a sponge and then I need to wipe it dry with a paper towel. Now I have a clean, dry surface that the clay will stick to, and that's important. You'll need a bucket of water. That bucket should be half empty with cold water, and I like to keep the tools right inside that bucket. Make sure that water's cold. Warm water or hot water is going to break down the clay too fast. You'll need a wood knife. You're going to need a small sponge. And those two tools should always just be in your bucket. That way when you sit down, you'll have those tools available and ready right away so you won't have to go around looking for them. So when you're done, make sure those clean tools are back in that bucket. Um, now I'm going to take the clay that I pugged and wedge it. So a small piece of clay like this, I'll just be slap wedging, which means I'm just going to slap it and rotate it, slap it, rotate it in my hands to remove air bubbles and make the clay body more consistent. 
So I have wedged clay ready to go. And now I'm ready to throw down and practice centering. <laughs> 